Alhamdulillah. So in the Holy Quran, in Surah Yasin, and I want to quote this verse, inshallah. In Surah Yasin, in continuation from the first khutbah that we were reminding ourselves about, this Quran, this message, is not just a book of duas and a book for recitation. No. Yes, duas, blessings in the Quran. Yes, recitation, blessings in reciting the Quran. But what is the purpose? And that's what we miss. And it's hard, hard to, tell, to, to get people to understand that. Listen, it's hard. I've been very honest with you. Hear what Allah says in Surah Yasin that we read every day, every day, every day. Or we should be reading every day. Allah says in verses number 69, Surah Yasin chapter 36, verse 69 and verse 70. وَمَا أَلَّمْنَاهُ الشِّعْرَ وَمَا يَنْبَغِي إِنْ هُوَ إِلَّا ذِكْرُ وَقُرْآنٌ مُبِينٌ What is Allah telling us in this verse? He says that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he did not send us a poet. You see the word? شِعْرَ You know even in Urdu they say شَعِر شَعِر Poet I'm not a poet. Allah is saying, shira. He didn't send the Prophet as a poet. So this is not poetry. This is real talk. It's not just a recitation book that we all love to listen to it. Yeah, we're reciting and we're doing all the haram and we Allah, mashallah. Why is that? Poetry? He said he didn't send him as a poet, which means that this is not poetry. Hear what he says. In huwa illa dhikru wa Qur'anum mubeen. That certainly this is nothing. And look at how he says it. Certainly this, Qur'an. Illa, it's nothing except zikru wa Qur'anum mubeen. It is a message and a clear message. Which Allah expects the people to follow. When we, you listen to a khutbah, we read the Quran, it's not about just sitting and, you know, that's why I have a problem with people who come late for khutbah and people who sleep in khutbahs, because you have missed the whole point of the purpose of Juma. It's about getting a message, it's about being reminded of Quran and Sunnah. And I bought a place to come and sleep. It is about a place that we have nothing else to do and we finish everything in the dunya and we come. I still can't understand how people who own their own businesses cannot make Juma on time. Oh Allah, maybe they need another COVID and a double one, real hard. You know why? Because COVID was a lesson, is a lesson. Problems are lessons for us to learn. And we don't pay heed. Masjid shut down people, sick people, dying. And we still can't go for Juma on time. Yeah. We still don't even take the day of Eid, as I was saying before. When the Prophet ﷺ says, Allah, Allah has ordained the Eid in the two days of Eid. We say, no, no, we're busy people in America. I got my gas station and shops to run. I got my companies to run. That is Allah's business and the Prophet's business. And I will not stuck for Allah. So we go to Juma for one hour and we go back home in the dunya. Was that the, the sunnah of the Prophet 